What is going on, everyone? Uh, I think I finally got it to the point where my uh, camera won't glitch out on me. Just took a little research. Not my camera, it was mainly my computer, because this computer really wasn't meant for what I do on it. Whoops. Because uh, I'm. this is mainly from my son's schooling, and I will start doing other things on other stuff, but here's the thing. I had a video already made about uh, Avengers Infinity. Um, I didn't do an unboxing. I was going to do it, but the computer just, like, crapped out. We got it fixed, and then um, I was going to do something, and I was like, you know, it's already been out for a while. A lot of people don't want to rehash an unboxing and stuff. And then you can talk about a lot of all the good stuff, because I think there's a lot of great things on the set, a lot of fun things. Just did a seal at a local game shop, and not my game shop, another game shop. They had um, a lock shop up for grabs, so I went down there. I pulled absolutely garbage. Um, and after the first match, even though I won, it was kind of like a bye match playing against the judge. And, you know, the judge isn't going to go ham, you know, on you. So me only getting 200 points while other people kept sweeping, I already knew it was over. And plus, I made myself... Uh, Guardians team with what I had because my Colossals were not good and it was just rough. Being a 300 point team with uh, though with, with with what was available was really really hard. But that being said, yes, there are great things in the set, but there are a few ones I either think are just trash or I think they dropped the ball on. So what I'm gonna do and what the video is gonna be about that I was supposed to do when I already filmed it but it was too glitched out is um, and I'm gonna do a little bit differently because this last time I did it and I popped up. Pictures of it, but instead I'm just going to pop them up themselves. First one is, I don't know how well we'll pop up on here. Black Widow. I don't know any time you'd ever want to play this Black Widow. Um, starts off 7, 9, 17. All blank for movement. Fist, def defense has perplexed at 50 points. Next out, you're going to get, uh, looks like, is that mind control? No, that can't be that. Uh, yeah, my control. All right. Um, combat reflexes and support. Uh, she goes to five dollars, fifty clicks, ten points per click. She moves through hindering. Um, but to be honest, it's a very. I mean, I get this common, but it's just I don't see anyone ever using this. Like at the beginning of the game, if Black Widow, uh, this is the origin before the Avengers. Everyone knows about this. I think. Otherwise, uh. If she's in part of Avengers theme, she gets the team ability, and if she's not, she gets the plus one to attack and defense for the rest of the game. Cool. Uh, not that crazy when you got 9 and 17, I guess. Uh, she's traded Stealth Black Widow. If she's the, if she's the highest point character on your fourth, she may be targeted. Uh, she may not be targeted by non adjacent opposing characters. Really cool ability, but highest point character, she's 50 points. What squad are you running where you have a bunch of 50 point and lower? Uh, or lower than 15, Avengers or Spy or whatever you want to do, Black Widow. I don't know. It's just really god awful. Um, I understand. She's coming through. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me, guys. I understand. It's the first, second, third click of the set. It's not going to be amazing. But just make it better. Like, that's just. This is like trash. I, I don't. If anyone disagrees with this, please explain to me what you would do with this. For the 50 point value, for the dial, why do you want this on your team? Explain to me, and you make me feel a little bit better. Uh, who will we go to next? We'll go to the next uncommon first. Like this guy, okay? I like Rocket. Um, there's a few little beasts I have with him. This is one that I'm. I, I'll play maybe sometimes. He will from, God, I can't get it to focus, whatever. Um, if he's not part of, um, well, number one, he's never going to replace a playing Golden Age. He's never replacing a few Golden Age joints, especially the 19-point defense play with that Star-Lord. It's a great match in heaven. Um, this one has the Origins Before Guardians, same exact thing, but they get their old ATA, their team ability, um, their protected outweigh. This was really cool. Um, I used this during that tournament. Helped me out a lot, but again, this rocket's pretty weak. We've actually seen um, rockets with Endon and stuff like that, but protecting the outwit helps a little bit, but you only have toughness. Leadership's cool on it. I like that. Um, but anyways, if you don't take that, you otherwise get the plus uh, one to defense. 
and plus one to your attacks, just like Black Widow. Again, nothing crazy, right? So his dial's not bad. 11 attack, uh, charge, blaze, leadership. Um, then he gets a really low, like a, um, it's not low because it's a 10. And if you're not part of a thing team, um, those are 11s uh, still. And it's base. You have to get a basis on your Flurry Blades. It's a really decent fig. For 60 points, I think he's not bad. But here's the thing. His name is Rocket. So if you're like me and my store and all my buds, we play Golden Age like crazy. Um, we do make limitations sometimes or whatever. But a lot of cards when you play Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever, says if Rocket Raccoon is blah, 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 adjacent, blah, 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 blah. A lot of group figures say stuff like that. This doesn't work far as WizKids ruling. Just the name Rocket. It has to be Rocket or the Raccoon. We've heard this before with, I think, Joker and the Joker and stuff like that. That was the biggest disappointment for me with that one. Um, otherwise, it's an okay piece. Not the greatest, but again, it's a common. I understand. But the fact that it's not Rocket Raccoon just ruins it for me for future Guardian play. Um, who knows if I'll use it ever for anything, but I think he's okay. But I don't know why he'd be on a Guardian team of mine. This is when we're going to the ter territory of garbage. I think the shield agent is garbage. Very light dial. He could fly, so that helps a little bit. He's traded ESD. He can't carry anyone. Why would I want this? Why? I mean, yeah, cool. Like, I can ignore hindering, go over things. I have running shot and energy explosion. Look, that came out better. Toughness. I have three dials for 40 points. Granted, okay, we have the shield ability we could give out to a few guys. We're doing a shield team. But 40 points, that's a lot for that little of a dial. And the fact that you're flying and you don't carry, I mean, the ESD makes you to 18. It's pretty cool. Not bad. But I'll break it down like this. Harvey Dent. No. Harvey Bullock has running shot energy explosion. And he's 35 points and has a PD ability. That will work without a shield character or a PD team ability on the map. He needs shield on the map to have him do his. To my reckoning. I, I, I mean, my, my, my recalling. If I'm wrong, call me out on it. But I just think 40 points for this guy is a waste. The fact he flies and doesn't carry. I just think there's... Again, modern age, maybe, but S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't really have much modern age going on as soon as the rotation happens. Um, but with what we have now, and if you're playing Golden Age, Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has too many good things. The Avenger sets, uh, movie sets have really good um, agents. Um, this one is not the greatest. If we were using cards, I guess this is low enough to call out someone if you had the ID card back, you know, during the Quinjet days. But we're long gone from that. It was just really a letdown for me. I was excited for him to have, I love minions and stuff like that, but it's just, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't feeling it. Um, this one, I got uh, three left. This one is under the category of a letdown, and it's not because I just like the, the dial, really, or the character. Um, we bait, Pretty much all the rest are letdowns, but this is Venom Space Knight. I love Venom. I'm obsessed with symbiotes. I have every symbiote basically made. Um... I think I can't recall if I am missing, but de definitely everything that's ever come out within the last five, eight years or so. I get every chase, everything possible. I just love the stories of the symbiote. I like the idea of it possessing you. It's just a cool idea. He's got the trait that Venoms all have, you know, where they get the plasticity, shape change, and then the automatically breaking away, which is awesome. I love that. Um, then that's it. We're kind of done. And the fact is, coming from a person that reads the comics, it does bug you a little bit when a character is not played the same. This Venom should have had a little bit of bells and whistles I feel on him because this is when eventually Venom, um, that symbiote is cured and he, you find out he's just sick and not all there and he's cured once they go to the symbiote planet. Um, and then his stats are okay. He has Endom, not bad, but my thing is for 125, this guy shouldn't have touched over 100, like literally. Shouldn't have touched over 100. He's got running shot. He's got a pin psych. Invol, you have to remember this guy is very outwittable. Pin psych goes straight through him. Exploit weakness goes through him. Um, he does get steel energy, stealth, and regen at the end of his dial. 
hopefully you can roll something, roll a three, get back up to around your sixth click, get to your third click again. Um, not the greatest click, charge and precision. Um, it'd be cool if he had some kind of blades with it or something. I don't know. Just something a little bit different, but for 125, I just was kind of let down. Um, he moves through hindering and uh, elevation, which is always cool. But uh, he's got that running shot, pen like but again, I don't know when I would really want to go to this Venom. I may try him out on a Guardian team just to see how he does. Um, but I would like to use my rockets, uh, Rocket Raccoons that have enhancement and um, Baby Group that has enhancements uh, to toss around him to give him a lot more damage. Uh, and plus he has a Perplex, so that might help me out. But other than that, it was just more of a letdown. And for how high points he is, 125. I don't know um, in the future if I'd like to throw him on a Guardian team. Um, I just expected a lot more, and it was a personal thing. I was super excited to get Venom Space Knight, a different variation of Venom, and we could have went somewhere different with him. All the other Venoms have been very symbiotic. Uh, the thing that really sucked was uh, Venom Pool didn't have the Venom trait, and that really bugged me because he, all the other ones were very Venom-like. Um, even the LE one that got hit by Pin Psych or, like, Pulse wave. It, it was stuff that was like vibration. It hurt him. And I liked that. Much as it was a weakness to you when you played him, I liked it. It was very comic themed and it was just awesome. Um, so I got super rare and a rare left. I'm going to go to the rare last because it's going to be one that people will probably argue with me about. This one people might too, but this one, again, a letdown. Quasar. I like Quasar. He's a dope dude. Um, he's got Avengers Infinity. When uh, Quasar attacks only characters of 100 points or more, you may choose to modify attack or damage. Cool trait. I love this. I used the hell out of it with Moon Dragon this weekend. Um, that's awesome. When Quasar hits the range after resolution, he can use Barrier at no cost. Again, awesome trait. Awesome trait. Then he has still energy um, as a, a white box power, but with range attacks instead of close. Again, awesome, 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 awesome. So I'm liking the way he is. Thing is, he's Endom, cool. He has three clicks of, invin of Invincible. Um, then he's got Running Shot Pins, like almost just like uh, Venom. And he's got that Invincible, which it looks on paper, this is gonna be great. He's 125, here's where it's getting tricky for me. I feel like bump him up to 150, give him Power Cosmic. And again, no, not just because I want Power Cosmic or whatever, but the fact that it's Quasar, and most of the Quasars we've had or Power Cosmic, um, at least to my knowledge. I mean, he should be. This is freaking Quasar. Um, again, if it's from a different timeline or something that we're trying to say, but this is Cosmic Keyword Quasar. This is a Power Cosmic character. Don't be wrong, there's a bunch of Cosmic uh, Guardian set from the movie set, but um, but the thing is, once we get you knocked down, again, you're outwitted. You, get, you lose your defense, you get hit, then you get to your still energy. So I guess it's cool you get the, the uh, when he hits with the range attack and he gets some barrier. Again, it's all situational. If you're outdoor, people are going to hop right over that. It doesn't matter if you have the barrier. Um, and then once you get to that region, you could try to get to top dial maybe. Um, I'm sorry, still energy. Um, you're only going to go up, not to the top dial, you're going to go up one dial at that time. And that's all you can do until you go back down. And all you have is the ESD, another very outwittable thing. At um, least you get range combat expert at the end, um, and that will help you with your barrier because you'll most likely hit and you get still energy. So I feel like you're going to be fighting a lot to stay alive with him. You're not going to be doing a lot of... Um, you, you'll be doing your own damage, but your more concern is not hitting them to hurt them. It's hitting to make sure you can heal, and I feel like it went a different direction for uh, Quasar, and they got really, really lazy with what else he could have done. And on top of it, I think he needed to just, if you wanted him over 100, um, they should have just made him Power Cosmic and bumped him up a little bit higher. And I think no one would have been upset with that. I think this is a good piece. It just needs to be polished a little bit. Um, and it's just that 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 part, man, just the three Invincibles, great. Right? I mean, in today's Clips world, I mean, if you're, you're not Power Cosmic or Protected, that's gone. You got to have something else to fall back on. And his is still Energy. And for me, it feels like it's kind of rough. The range combat expert is going to help, but um, I do believe for it being Quasar, that's my whole thing I'm going to, it being Quasar, and that's going to be about the last guy, is it being this person, it should play it differently. So Quasar is the other one that, again, I didn't hate it, but I feel like it needed to be cleaned up a little bit. 
this one I might get flack for. People may argue with me about it. Um, Great sculpt. Uh, Thanos. So here's my thing. This is Thanos with the Finity Gauntlet glove. I almost feel before Goblin King got nerfed, that was how a character is with a gauntlet. And I'm glad he got nerfed. You played him at 275 with the Power Cosmic. So you imagine this guy goes to 325. I feel you could do work on this guy with Goblin King more so. So you basically don't have any powers besides your normal powers. Um, you're not a Colossal. You're a Giant, so you're one above. Um, whenever an opposing character attacks and uh, after a resolution duel, that character will one penetrating damage for uh, each two in an attack roll. Um, example, two penetrating damage for rolling two twos. Plus 25 points. So whatever you plan, the lowest 100, 125, you want to do them at 325 plus 25, 50. I, I, I don't like that ability. I heard people over the weekend telling me they're like, I like that one because some guy pulled it in the course. And a silver affinity, he's great in a silver because he's very powerful, power cosmic, can be outwitted. He has a lot of cool little uh, things you could do, and you just play him by itself, see how it goes. But the rolling the twos, like, what if Drax is on the field? I played against a Drax, I played against a Thor with the, with the Storm Clouds. Both have Invincible. I rolled two twos, awesome. I paid 25 points for that. Two penetrating damage, please. Festival doesn't give no shits. So it's just one of those things that is it really worth paying for? You'll be kicking yourself in the butt, but honestly, they're just one each, and it's whenever you roll a two. When are the times you're excited to roll two twos? When are the times you're excited, even if you have a five and a two, that's a seven. So most of the time, you're going to want higher numbers anyways. That's why with the X-Men doing the five thing, it actually has become... We thought it was kind of a dorky thing, but then it kind of became fun. Uh, good example is the Cyclops from the Fast Force. He has a way to basically let you re-roll if you don't have a 5, and then when you do have a 5, you get this plus 1 damage. It's awesome. Um, come and get me. Is, I mean, this is great because it's uh, they have it. it it's when uh, Thanos is just in space, and he's like, come and Oh, man, it's such a good... Read and Finn and Gauntlet. Finn and Gauntlet was like just a huge crazy point in my childhood. I want to say it was like 93, 4 or something. I don't know. Um, just so good, man. It, it was such a crazy story for me as a kid. Uh, you never saw your, your, your hero so vulnerable, but it was awesome. Um, so he's got decent stats all the way around. It's kind of goofy. He's got sidestep for the first four clicks on his 325 point. But again, if you want to load him all the way up, 325, you're going to play him at 400 if you want everything on him. Um, he's going to be 16 clicks deep at that, but at the same time, he gets really kind of funky near the end. I honestly think your best bet is to play him at the blue line, which is 150, uh, which is sidestep against kind of lame, 11 pin psych, 18 invincible prob. Then, uh, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clicks of life. For 150, and then add on the 50 come and get me. So 200, I'd add that. And the come and get me, I didn't even explain it. It's every time, once per turn, you pick one of the person that hits you. This came in handy during the first field I played. But, oh no, I played this in a friendly game. I'm sorry. I played this in a friendly game, and you do have to be careful who you're going to pick. The guy that's most likely going to hit, and then he has hella high attack. Do I want to gamble with him, but I don't want to take his damage because it's so high, but he does a fire attack, then you roll off, and whoever you add up, and if you beat it, you beat it. Um, that ability is cool. That's a way to get out of stuff, and I, I really, 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 really enjoy that. Um, and, of course, if he gets KO'd, he passes the gauntlet to someone else, and they get modified everything, just like the gauntlet normally should do. They get willpower and modify all combat values plus one. But anyway, so I think the best point is the blue blue dial or the blue click um for 150 i think i said what was that eight clicks of life and then pay the other 50 point at 200 with a come and get me so you can every every turn you'll get to avoid try to avoid one of those attacks no matter what um just hope your dice rolls are good but uh yeah the thing is it's okay i expected 
when I knew this was coming out and we're going to have Thanos and he has the gauntlet, I expected it to be crazy. I expected it to be, that's not only going to be fun to play against, how, you know, he's going to be broken. And of course, I didn't expect the shrine to come out or anything like that, you know, anything to be close like that. But at the same time, I did expect us to say, wow, you know, this is a really good piece. Um, and this didn't really do it for us. Most of us that were playing him realized he's good in sealed, but building a team around him, it's really tough. And to make it good, a lot of our minions of Doom are really old and outdated. Like, even, uh, who do I have over here? I ran a minion as a team with friends. Uh, was it Black Dwarf? Which we can't call him, I guess, now. That's not what they wanted in on the movie. Um, but yeah, that being said, it's kind of tough to make make him work on a team and it seems like he is best solo but at the same time we have someone like forge well first of all nick fairy could just say you can't use blah 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 then you got forge who can shoot you you lose all your powers that turn and then a whole excellent team could go ham on and it's not like i'm talking from experience so i'm sure that's happened to me um then the other thing is uh uh adam warlock in this set he can get around things. Um, that That's a huge deal. So, for me, like I said, it, it was just a letdown for me as far as Thanos, the big bad with the Fendi Gong, you know, and I thought Nubula, or Nebula, people hate how I say that all the time, Nebula was a funner play than the Thanos, and that shouldn't have been the, the case um, because it's Thanos, and he's the big story arc. But I did have fun playing Nebula at my own store, um, sealed. We're having a seal tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, we get a good turnout. We get some cool pulls. We, I threw a wrench in it. We're going to do a snake draft at the end for all the Colossus that we pull. So, everyone's going to keep their super rares, their chases, whatever they pull. Then, at the end, we'll grab stuff, and losers will be probably stuck with doing buggies. Even though I've heard they've done work in some guys' uh, tournaments and stuff like that because of the terrain. The terrain's really, really good. That is something that will be overlooked, and we'll get to that another time, talking about how all these terrain and the vehicles, and how they're going to do what they got to do. Um, but yeah, so that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this one doesn't glitch out. And give me feedback, like, subscribe, whatever you want. best there is is trying to do more and more and more. Be part of the community. Be a brand growing. I've been selling out of hats like crazy. I need to order more. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Uh, it was Memorial Day. Now it's not, but hopefully you guys had a good and safe one. Have a good night, evening, tomorrow, yesterday. Bye.